Hey guys, it's Onushri. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a Colourpop haul for you guys. And this is my first time buying from Colourpop. And I'm gonna show you the items that I have got. And also I'm gonna do this makeup right here throughout my video when I'm gonna test all of their products. And I will give you a review about all of the products all the pros and cons about the products so that you guys get to know how are these products so without any further talking let's get into this video okay before just i start my haul i'm just gonna give you a little bit information about order and taxes and the process of ordering and getting your parcel so i ordered from bangladesh since i live here so what you have to do is you have to order from their official website and you have to pay from your card uh, because they don't have a cash on delivery service so another thing is that after you buy from them they're gonna dispatch your parcel and they're gonna update tracking information and you will get all of the tracking statuses one by one in that official website updated by them you will usually ship with DHL or USPS and my one was shipped with DHL so this thing takes quite a long time for international shipping it took almost like two months to arrive from usa to bangladesh because the parcel firstly goes to germany where its main distribution center is and from there it comes to uh, my country bangladesh and maybe to other countries as well so it took quite a while so if you guys order it might take almost two months uh, depending upon your country another thing is that when the parcel leaves germany the tracking status does not update many times like in my case it did not update so you do not need to panic what you can do is you can call your post office because if it comes to your post office they will call you and you will get to know eventually lastly one thing is that uh, when it arrives to your post office you have to pay a certain amount of tax to the customs for taking your parcel no matter what amount of product you buy even if it's small or large you have to pay a amount of tax and duty to the customs for taking your parcel so if you guys don't want to pay that then it is ideal that you guys do not order from outside of the country and for receiving the parcel what you have to do is go to the nearest post office and uh, you have to pay them the amount of tax that came and you will get your parcel so that's the process how i got my parcel from usa to bangladesh and i think that this is going to be the process for most other countries other than usa so the first item that i have got is a foundation and it is this one this is the color pop pretty fresh hydrating foundation this one claims to be hydrating foundation with skin perfecting medium buildable coverage for natural healthy looking skin this one has got hyaluronic acid which is also known as ha this is known to hydrate and support healthy looking skin it has also got coconut water which is known to support hydration and skin softness. This one is also dermatologically tested and this one is oil free and vegan. And I have got the shade Dark 155W and this one costed $16. So I thought of buying this one because this one has hyaluronic acid and coconut water and recently my skin is getting very dry and flaky so I thought that I should buy a foundation that would be hydrating and nowadays I'm more into hydrating foundations than matte ones so I thought of buying this one because this one is hydrating and also this one is buildable coverage although I like full coverage foundations but this one uh, is buildable coverage that means I can build this up to my wish now let's open up and see how is the bottle inside so this is how the bottle looks this is made of plastic and it has got this clear cap it has got pump which i like in a foundation because it's very easy to pump out the foundation and use and it's very hard if the foundation doesn't have a pump which is also not hygienic so as you guys can see this one is very runny 
and most foundations that are runny are very lightweight and this one reminds me of the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear foundation which I own that one has very similar texture to this foundation so as you guys can see this foundation has a warm undertone which I like because my skin tone is kind of warm so I always look for a warm undertone foundation and I think this foundation meets up that and I think the shade is a little bit dark for me this time because the online buying foundation experience is too bad for me so I went a bit darker and I picked this shade so I think it's a little bit dark for me but first let's see how it looks on the face so what I'm gonna do is on the half of my face I'm gonna use this sponge this is by technique and on the other half i'm gonna use a brush like this to see how the coverage is and this is a real good time for testing because as you guys can see i have got a little bit of scar over here and there are some scars going on a little bit of pigmentation so it would be a real test for this foundation So as I can see it looks a little bit dark in person but in the camera it looks quite fine. I think I can make it work with a little bit lighter concealer. This one is very glowy and very fresh looking which I really like in a foundation. This one is not giving any sort of streakiness or is not accentuating any sort of texture on my face. So, so far it's looking quite good. So let's blend and see how it looks. So I have blended out with the sponge and now I'm gonna test it out with the brush. Okay guys, so I'm done with my both sides. This side was the sponge side and this one was the brush. And I think that with the brush side, you're gonna get a little bit more coverage than the sponge side. Uh, the sponge side and the brush side both blended out super nicely. There is literally no streakiness, no texture, no issue going on in my face. I'm pretty much happy with both sides of my face but if you guys want a little bit more coverage with this foundation then use the brush because the brush is going to give you a little bit more coverage than the sponge side. I want to show you guys up close how the foundation is looking. So this foundation is really good because it is looking super nice very smooth on the skin it is not accentuating any sort of texture on my face because i have got a lot of acne scars on both of my cheeks but i don't see any sort of like texture poking through or any unblendable situation going on my face it is really nice because it is giving me a very nice fresh glow which i really like in a foundation it is very lightweight i don't feel like i am wearing something on my face it is very lightweight it's not heavy and i'm super happy with this foundation okay so the next item that i have got is this one this is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer and this is in the shade medium dark 115w so this one is also dermatologist tested oil free and this one is gluten free paraben free and it is ideal for all skin types so it says that uh, it is a long wearing full coverage creamy concealer infused with hydrating ingredients for a natural fresh finish so let me open it for you guys so this is how the bottle looks it is also made of plastic and it has got this peach colored cap so this one has got that doe foot applicator 
and I think the applicator is a little bit shorter and this concealer has got 6.50 gram which is 0.23 ounces so I think this concealer is a little bit less in quantity than most of the concealers that I have got I think it would be nice if they get a bigger size for this one because I think this is gonna run out very fast Okay, other than that, let's see the shade. So this is how the color looks. I think it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but I bought it for highlighting. So I don't think it's going to be an issue. So let's put this on our face and see how it looks. I think the doe foot is quite nice because it feels very soft on the skin, which I like. Another thing is the concealer texture is very creamy, so this is also a plus. So I have blended this part of my face and I think this is also very fresh and glowy. Another thing is it adds quite a bit coverage because I have got very dark circles. And I think it is a really good concealer because I can't see the dark circles that I have got. Adding this much amount completely erased my dark circle so I'm happy with that and also it doesn't look that light after I blend it out so I think this is a really good concealer and I'm giving this part of my face a little bit more time to see how the concealer sets because most of the concealers that I own sets very fast and it is very hard to blend them afterwards so now I'm gonna blend this part I don't think it was hard to blend even though I kept it for a minute or so. It blended very smoothly, seamlessly. So I think even if you keep it for a minute or so, it's not gonna be like set underneath your eyes or like not gonna blend. Nothing like that. I think it's gonna blend because uh, I took more than a minute and it blended pretty well. So, so far, I am liking the concealer. Let me show you up close. So next I wanted to show you this one and it is called the Stone Cold Brush Set. This one has got 15 brushes including face and eye brushes and it took $32. So this is how the brushes look. I hope you guys can see. These are the face brushes and this side these are the eye brushes. This looks really pretty, like the color is so cute and I have to firstly use them to see whether I like it. So first they have got this one, this is their biggest brush. This one is F28. I think this is a big powder brush and it is quite soft, it looks very soft on the skin as well. This, I think this is a really good brush for powdering down. So next I have this brush, this is called the rounded cheek brush and this is a really big fluffy brush. So I think this one is gonna be good for bronzer, blush and you can also powder down your face with this one. The next one is this one. This is the medium powder brush and this one is not that big. This is very precise as you guys can see. I think it would be a very good brush for applying the blush. So next is this one. This is the small fluff brush. I think you can use it for contour or highlighter. Next is this one. This is the precision powder brush and I really like this taper kind of looking brushes because you can use it for powdering underneath your eyes or any specific areas that you want to reach because it's like very tapered so it's gonna go like to very specific areas and it's gonna be very easy to use this brush so I think this is a really good brush. Okay, so next is this one. 
this is called the taper powder brush so i think this one is gonna be very good for highlighter because uh, it will hit that specific places that you want to highlight and it will blend it very nicely and will still keep that highlighter to a specific area so i think i'm mostly gonna use it for highlighter next is this one this is the precision blending brush and this is for your eyes so this brush is very tapered and very fluffy as you guys can see so it would be very good for spreading the eyeshadow all over your crease so this is a really good brush for that purpose next is this one this is the blending fluff brush and uh, this one is i think is also for the crease i think this one will be very good if you guys having hard time blending shadows in your crease and i think you can also use this brush for applying eyeshadows on your lid as well so this is gonna be handy as well next is this one this is the large shader brush and this one will be very good for putting eyeshadows in your lids so this will be helpful for that purpose so this is the next one and it's the small blending brush and this is e25 this is uh, gonna be very helpful for blending the outer corners of your eyes or you can also use it underneath your lower lash line uh, so this is going to be a very helpful for that purpose so next i've got this one this is the rounded eye defining brush i think this one is going to be very helpful for smoking anything underneath your lower lash line next is this one this is the detail blending brush it is e27 and this one is going to be good for inner corner outer corner shadows and also you can use it for your lower lash line next is this one this is called the micro blending brush and i think this one is going to be good for again inner corners and lower lash line and i think you can also use this one for spot curtain like if you have any sort of acne you can put concealer and use this brush around that area next is this one this is the mini shader brush as you guys can see this one is very flat so it would be very good for smoking out lower lash line and also you can uh, put eyeshadow all over your lids with this one i think this one will be very good if you want to do a cut crease because this one has that flat precise shape to it and also this is very compact so it would do that job pretty well so lastly i got this one this is the angled eye brush you can use it for smoky eyeliner gel eyeliner then pot eyeliner and filling in eyebrows so the next item that I bought is this one. This is their powder and this is called the Colourpop No Filter Finishing Pressed Powder. And this one has got 5.50 grams, 0.19 ounces. And this is in the shade medium. So this is how the inside packaging looks. So the website says that this one is supposed to be slightly tinted and sheer powder. This is how the shade looks and it has got a mirror as you guys can see which has a protected seal over here. So let me give you guys a swatch. This is how the color is. I hope you guys can see. It looks a bit light on my hand but as it is sheet i think it's not gonna look very weird on my face so let's try it on the face i'm using the biggest brush from the brushes that i have showed you for powdering down my whole face i quite like the brush because it is so soft and it is very easy to use the powder all over the face with this brush So the powder does not add any color as you guys can see although it's in the shade medium but it's not adding any color it looks very nice smooth does not give that weird powdery kind of a finish like as you guys can see my skin is still 
kind of like have the shine that it had but it does set uh, your foundation quite well so now i'm gonna give this guy a go this is the f32 number brush and i'm gonna use the powder underneath my eyes and want to see uh, how well this one performs so as you guys can see this one is very precise and tapers so it goes in my inner corner very well and it helps to set that area properly so this is going to be a very good brush for setting underneath your eyes and I'm loving this one next I've got blush I have got two blushes so firstly I have got this blush this is called the Colourpop pressed powder blush in the shade Palatial. I am really obsessed with how the packaging looks like it is so mesmerizing the flowers are looking so pretty like I hope you guys can see so now let's open this up so inside it has got that similar flowery kind of looking packaging as you guys can see super pretty and uh, the hair is the shade name on the back this is a peachy terracotta kind of blush as you guys can see it has also got mirror with it like as you guys can see it has also got a flower drawn in the pan since i have got two blushes so i'm gonna use this blush on the right side of my face and the other one i will be using on the left side of my face so i'm gonna use this brush uh, this is the f30 brush it has got a little bit of fallout as you guys can see so this is how the blush looks as you guys can see this looks super pretty like this looks very good on my skin tone so i'm loving it also this one is very smooth it's not accentuating any sort of texture on my skin giving a very flawless and smooth look to the face and I'm really happy with the color because it looks really good on me one problem that I'm facing is that this is very powdery. next blush is this one this is the Colourpop super shock cheek blush this is in the shade growth flirt so let me show you how it looks inside this is it this is a very small pan size as you guys can see I expected a bigger size than this it looks more of like uh, eyeshadow to me but that's okay and this one has got 4.2 gram and 0.15 ounces so that's not a very less amount of product for a blush because I never run out of blush because it's very hard to run out of blush we don't use it that much and also i've got a lot of blushes so i use different blushes different times let me show you how the color is this is how the color looks this is a warm toned berry pink so the texture is very putty and i have never used a blush like this i mean this is my first time trying something like this i've never tried a creamy putty textured blush all of my blushes are powdery so this is a new addition to my blushes so this is how the blush looks it has got more of like a pink undertone but it's quite darker in the color so i'm using this brush with this blush this is the f31 brush doesn't show up that much on the brush maybe because it's a creamy texture maybe it would show up more if you put it with a finger or a sponge but firstly let me try with the brush and see how it goes on it doesn't show up that much as you guys can see it doesn't show that much i'm taking more I don't think this one shows up well with the brush just because it's different texture from the powder one so let me try it out with the fingers so I'm taking a little bit like this and putting it in my cheeks I think 
like shows up a little bit more than the brush so i think that this blush would be good for everyday use if you want to wear blush for everyday purpose like you want to wear blush on your bare face so then you can use this one because this one will look very smooth and natural like as you guys can see it's kind of looking like a natural flush of color on your cheeks looks very natural like a blush from within so it would be perfect if you want to wear it on your bare skin and also you can use your fingers and just a little put a little bit on your face and you're good to go for the both blushes i don't see that much of a difference on my cheeks because they kind of look alike as per formula they're very different one is powder one is cream so if you guys want to use blush that is easier to use and will not have any fallout then i would highly recommend this ones because this ones will not have that fallout issue that i had with the glacial one because that one was so dusty it went into my nose and mouth and i'm suffering from coughing and like i had to gargle before coming back so it would be better uh, for that purpose because this one doesn't have any fallout and also it is very easy to blend you can also blend it with your fingers since it's a cream product and you can also wear it in your bare face as per color although they look very alike but i would say i like the palatial one because this one has that warm undertone to it and you guys know that i really like warm undertone blushes so maybe for the color i would go for the palatial just so you guys can see the comparison between the shades i'm gonna swatch them again in my hand so that you guys can see so here is the two colors i hope you guys can see this is palatial this is a very peachy warm toned blush color and this is the super shock cheek blush in the shade growth flirt so this is more like a pure pink color but it's, it's way more darker than the palatial one it looks more of like a nude blush but on the cheeks it end up a little bit darker but that's okay but this is way darker than the palatial one so these are the two blushes Next, I've got this highlighter. This is called the Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. And this is in the shade Flexitarian. So this is one of the most famous shades out there. And I really wanted to try this one for a while. That's why I got this one. And this one always stays out of stock. So it's hard to pick this one. But this time, luckily, I got this one in stock. So. I bought this one and I'm super excited to see how it is. So this is how it looks. It has also got 4.2 gram products uh, which is 0.15 ounces. So this is how the shade looks. I hope you guys can see. This is a golden champagne kind of looking shade. So let me give you a swatch of it again this one is like the same texture as the blush very putty very creamy very smooth so i'm happy about that because i haven't got a highlighter in this kind of a texture so this is how the shade looks oh my god this is super intense like i have heard that this shade is the most intense shade from the super shock cheek highlighters and i think they're kind of right because this is super like super shiny as you guys can see i hope the color picks up on the screen so this is how it is super shiny and for highlighters it has to be super shiny and it should not exaggerate texture for me i like highlighters like that so let's put it on the face so this time i'm gonna use this brush uh, this is the f33 number brush so i'm taking highlighter with this brush although i think that this one will also work well with fingers but firstly let me try it out with the brush so in this cheek i'm gonna use the brush first and then uh, this cheek i'm gonna use my fingers Ooh, it's super blinding i see 
Oh my god, I think this is gonna be one of my most favorite highlighters currently. Oh my god, this is so good. Super shiny, super blinding as I can see. As you guys know, I'm sucker for highlighter, so might end up putting too much, so have to blend it out. Also, it doesn't look streaky or harsh on the skin. It looks quite flawless and smooth, which I am loving. But on the pan, it did not look that light. But in person, I see that the highlighter is quite light for my skin, which I did not think because the pan did not look like that. The pan looks like this, which is kind of like a champagne golden kind of a shade. But on the cheeks, it kind of look a little bit silvery. I have to uh, use the highlighter on the other side with my fingers and see how it looks. One more thing is that the highlighter is very like intense so a little bit goes a long way I have to say. And one thing that I'm noticing is that it blends with finger much better like if you guys can see like when I applied the brush, it looked super intense and white in person, but as I'm blending with fingers, it is not looking that white in person. Also looks more blended, natural, and like very fresh and glowy, which I am loving. But I also don't hate the brush side. What I have to do is uh, put in lesser amount and then blend afterwards with the sponge which is okay but if you guys want to have a strong like very intense highlighter then you guys should go and use this brush because this one will do its job but i am loving the left side of my face it is looking like super nice it seems like it's the natural shine of my face so i think this is gonna be a really good product so next i'm gonna show you two eyeshadow palettes that i bought one of them is this one this is the baby god peach and this is the pressed powder palette this palette has nine shades now let's open this up so this is the inside packaging which is identical to the outer packet so this is how the palette looks it has also got mirror with it and the mirror is quite big and it has a protecting cover so these are the nine shades. Sorry guys, it just fell from my hand and got scraped by my nails. But still, I hope you guys can see the shades. So this is how they look. So I will give you the swatch of all of the shades. So this is the swatch of the palette Baby God Peach. And this first shade is called Darling. And this is a very light peachy nude kind of a shade the next shade is hungry ghost and this one is the only pressed glitter shade in the palette and it has a dual shift to it as you guys can see it is a pressed glitter the next shade is called perky which is this one this is a pink peachy kind of a color and it is a matte color Next one is a shimmery shade and it is called Get Even and this one also has a duotone effect to it. Next one is called Center Fold and this is a bright pink color. This is also a matte color. After that we have got Glaze It. It is a shimmery shade and it, it is kind of a bronzy peachy kind of a color after that we have ochre which is kind of a orangey peachy kind of a color and this is also a matte color next one is ready or yach which is a shimmery shade and also has duotone effect to it after that lastly we have half baked which is this one so the next palette is this one this is the ColourPop In A Trans palette and this has also got 9 shades in it. So this is how the inside of the packaging looks like. 
This is a really nice purple color and is looking super cute. So it has got the name of the shades in the back of the palette. So sorry guys, I also cannot show you the colors properly because this too has fallen out as you guys can see. This one also fell from my hand. Again, I apologize. And the quality of the packaging is very bad because many eyeshadow palettes have fell from my hand. Never found out it, any kind of issues happening with them. And this one is so like fragile. This one just like fell from my hand just not even from a very high up it's just from it's not it was not very high from where it fell it just fell from my hand from a very low range but still it like broke so the quality of the packaging is very bad i must say but yeah this is how the other shades look which are still <laughs> intact I hope you guys can see this is a really pretty palette the colors are super attractive and cute that's the reason i got them but sadly enough those two shades again like fell and was broken so i have to press them back to the palette and there because there is no choice left but i will give you the swatches from the dust so here are the two shades uh, which I have pressed very quickly because both of them just fell I, as I told you I, they are very fragile and I can't even touch them like even if I like small portion of my finger goes uh, something like this would happen like this is very bad in terms of packaging and as you guys can see these are not well pressed as I have pressed them they go way down than they were so eyeshadow this should have a protective palette because this kind of uh, plastic palettes are not well protected even if they like drops for a single time then it will be completely broken and your whole money is gonna be wasted so who wants that this costs money and also let's leave money i'm getting very sad because i just ordered a new palette and i couldn't even use it and i just broke it just because just it fell from my hand few meters far away from the ground and it just broke into pee, like pieces like this is very bad and they should improve the packaging this is my recommendation and suggestion so now let's swatch these shades so here is the swatch of the palette in a trance and this is the first shade this is called clarity this one is a shimmery shade and it has got little sparkles all over it next shade is called mind's eye which is this one this one is again a shimmery shade and it is kind of like a lavender shimmery shade after that we have day dress baby this is a pink shade which has got little sparkles all over it next is a very pale blue shade and this is called future self after that we have again a pressed glitter and it is called all aura again next is a electric pink shade and this is called crown chakra and this one is a shimmery shade as you guys after that we have transcend dance which is a blue shade and it has got little sparkles to it next we have got this shade which is a lavender matte shade and this is the own your power after that we have this lavender shade which is called up level and this is also a matte shade again so as you guys can see it has got th three matte shades one pressed glitter and one and three shimmery shades along with two shades with little bit of sparkles so now i will be using those two palettes for making an eyeshadow look and i will be using as much as shades possible for you guys so that you guys can see so firstly i'm going to start with the shade centerfold from baby got peach palette and i'm gonna use it in my crease up to this part Oh, uh, I forgot to tell that I'm using this brush this is the E23 number brush and uh, so I have firstly used the centerfold shade from the baby God peach palette and I am seeing that it's quite dusty 
I think most of their powdery products are very dusty. It also happened with the blush, which is the Pally Shield. And same goes for the eyeshadow palette. It is quite dusty. Uh, but as far as the pigment goes, it's not that bad and it's also blending quite well. So next I'm gonna use the shade Daydream from the Inner Trance palette and I'm gonna use it in my crease up to this part. I'm using this brush now and this is called E22. Now I'm gonna use the shade Half Baked from the Baby Got Peach palette and I'm gonna use it in my outer corner. So this time I am using this brush and this is the brush E25. Now I'm gonna take the shade up level from Inner Trans Palette and I will be using that in my outer crease. And this time I am using this brush, this is the E27 brush. Now I am using the shade Own Your Power from Inner Trans Palette in my lid over here. This time I am using this brush, this is the E26 number brush. Now I am gonna use the shade Future Self from Inner Trans Palette in my lid as well. And this time I will be using this brush, E29 number brush. Now I will be using the shade Darlin from Baby Got Peach palette. And this time I will be using this brush. This is the E28 number brush and I will be using the shade in my inner corner. Now for inner corner, uh, I'm gonna use the shade Clarity from Inner Trans Palette and I'll be using the previous brush which is the E28 number brush. Now I'm going to take the shade Transcend Dance from Inner Trans Palette and I'll be using this brush which is the E28 number brush for the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the shade Perky from Baby Got Peach Palette and I'll be using this brush. This is the E29 number brush and I'm going to use it in the lower lash line. Next I'm gonna show you this product, this is their white eyeliner and uh, this is the BFF liquid liner, this is how it looks. This has got 0.55 ml and 0.019 fluid ounces. So this is how it looks from inside. So this is in the shade Graceland. And this is the swatch of it so this is how it looks i think this is a really solid white color so i'm pretty happy with the outcome because it's very hard to find pure solid white color like that has good pigment in it because white color is very transparent so it's hard to get good pigment but as you guys can see it has got pretty good pigment so I'm hoping that this is going to perform well so let's put this on the eye this is how it looks and I think it's quite pigmented and 
also it glides on very smoothly does not bleed at all also the felt tip is very nice so it goes super easy and nice okay so the next item is this one and this is in the shade sunday morning so this is how it looks from inside i hope you guys can see this one is a very bright yellow color i saw in the website and i just fell in love with the color because i just wanted to buy something like this and i wanted to have a color like this in my makeup collection for a while so i could not resist myself and <laughs> i bought this one so this is what the color looks like i hope you guys can see and this is how it comes up and i'm gonna give you a swatch so this is how the color looks sunday morning this is this one is like reminding me of the crayons that i used to paint in my childhood this just looks like that so the naming is perfect but i'm just like very happy with the color because it's, it's the exact color that i have seen in the website and i was wanting to buy for a while so finally ended up buying this one and i think the formula is quite nice it glides on very nicely and hope it seems like it does not bleed and also it's quite pigmented yellows are naturally not that pigmented so I'm happy to find something like this because this one is quite pigmented. So as I'm using it, it's not popping on the camera that much, but in person I can see it. And it's quite hard to use it on the eyes, although it glided well on my hands, but it's kind of hard to use it on the eyes. I don't know whether you guys can see the color, it's not popping that much, so I'm showing you up close. Next item I've got is this one. And uh, this is the cream gel color. Uh, this is uh, 0.11 ounces and 3.0 grams. This is in the shade Stardust. This is again a uh, yellow color because currently I am loving yellow more. So I picked again a yellow color. And this is a gel eyeliner. So this is how it looks. So opening it up, you get something like this. This is not a... Uh, this is a very pale yellow shade as you guys can see but it looked super pretty on the website so i just wanted to buy this so this is how it is i think it's quite creamy which i like but it's a very pale yellow shade i hope you guys can see if you can see like this one is very dark but this one is a very pale yellow shade almost looks like white but it's a very pale yellow shade this time i'm using this brush this is the e30 number brush so this is how it is it looks like almost white on the camera but in person i can see the color so i'm showing you up close and this is quite intense because this is a gel liner so it's supposed to be intense so i think it's quite creamy and intense and it's a good formula i would say so next i'm gonna show you some lip liners because this time i bought a bunch of lip liners i bought three of the lip liners from their website so i'm gonna show you one by one firstly i want to show you this one this is the Colourpop Lippy Pencil and uh, this is in the shade Petal Please. So this is how the packaging looks. I, it is super pretty, super mesmerizing. It has got beautiful flowers. I mean the orange colored flowers which is looking super pretty. So let's see what it looks from inside. This is 
the color of the lip liner this one has one gram which is 0.035 ounce so this is how it looks i hope you guys can see so i'm gonna give you a swatch so this is how the shade is it's a dark brown color this color has got a warm undertone so it is a warm undertoned brown lip liner and it is gonna be suitable for medium to dark skin tones so i'm putting this liner on the upper right side of my lips because i have other two liners to show you guys so this is how the petal kiss liner looks so i'm pretty happy with this color because i really like dark brown colors so that i can wear a little bit of a light colored nude lipsticks with them then it won't look that odd so i'm really happy with this color next i have got this one which is the similar packaging to the old one this is also called the ColourPop Leapy Pencil and this is in the shade Field Day. This is the color of it as you guys can see. So I'm gonna give you the swatch on my hand. So this is how the color is. So as you guys can see it's a bit lighter than Petal Please and it is also a brown warm toned lip liner and it's it's two three shades lighter than petal please so it's gonna be more nude on my skin color and petal please is more like a brown color on my skin tones so i'm gonna use field day on the upper left part of my lips so this is field day as you guys can see it's more of a nude color in my skin tone but it has got a very warm undertone to it so which i like because i like more of like a warm toned lip liners than cool toned lip liners so i'm also loving this one and another thing i must say that both of the lip liners are super pigmented as you guys can see only one stroke creates this much of pigment so i am really mesmerized seeing that because uh, most lip liners are not that pigmented but both of them are super pigmented and they glide on super nicely like they do not look very streaky or they do not bleed as you guys can see they are smooth and very nice so I'm very happy with both of them and lastly I'm gonna show another lip liner which is this one so this one is the color pop lippy pencil and this is in the shade bff2 this is a lavender kind of a packaging it is kind of different from the other two this is how it looks from inside and this is the color and this is the swatch of bff2 as you guys can see this is quite similar to field day but the undertone is quite different the field today is more of a warm undertone but bff2 is more of a neutral undertone but both of them are kind of similar in shades as you guys can see but this one is more warmer and this one is more neutral and that is the only difference i noticed and now let's put this on the lips so i'm gonna put bff2 on the lower lip Okay, let me fill in a little bit so that you guys can see. Okay guys, so I applied three of the lip liners again and filled in full so that you guys can notice the difference. So as you guys can see, this is Petal Please which is way darker than these two shades. So you guys can notice the difference very well. But on the left side of my upper lip, I have Field Day which is a little bit warmer tone and then the bff2 and this is the bff2 which is a little bit neutral undertone than the field day but both of them kind of looks very identical on the lips also on the hands the only difference is the undertone one is a little bit 
more warmer and another one is a little bit more neutral that's the only difference between them other than that i don't notice that much of a difference but i bought the uh, field tip because i think that i have mostly like very dark lip liner so i already bought petal these and i thought that i should go a little bit lighter that's why i bought this one and this one is kind of also same like this is for since i wanted a little bit lighter lip liner because all of my lip liners are very dark so i also went for bff2 so I'm super pleased with three of them because I, it's just like one stroke, one slide and this is how much pigment you get which is amazing. So I'm obsessed with the lip liners. So lastly I'm gonna show you lipsticks and I bought three of them again just like the lip liners. So firstly I'm gonna show you this one. This is the Colourpop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick and this has got 4.75 gram which is 0.17 fluid ounces this one is in the shade casual dress and this is how it looks inside as you guys can see from the outside it looks kind of like a brown toned nude color so this has got same similar kind of looking shape and bottle like the concealer which is very identical to the concealer bottle as you guys can see also looks very small compact and it has got the same doe foot applicator just like the concealer so i think it's gonna be also very soft like the concealer's one so let me show you the swatch of the lipstick this is casual dress this is a very warm toned brown nude lipstick i would say and it is very creamy as you guys can see it's very creamy it's not very like matte it kind of has a little bit of shine to it i think it's gonna be a satin finish so let's put this on the lips so i'm gonna put this on the field side because this is a little bit lighter than the other lipstick that i bought so this is casual dress after applying as you guys can see it looks super nude on me and also the color looks very nice on my skin tone another thing is that it matches quite well with the field day lip liner so maybe those two is gonna go really well together it is not very cracky or something like that this one glides on very nicely as you guys can see and it's super comfortable on the lips does not feel like i'm wearing a heavy thing on my lips it feels very lightweight so next lipstick is this one this is again the luxe velvet liquid lipstick but this is in the shade can you even this is how the shade looks it's more on the neutral side compared to the casual dress this is more on the neutral side but this is also a nude color and this is how it looks this is the swatch of can you even this is more like a neutral under undertone as you guys can see this is more of a one warm undertone which is the casual dress but can you even is more of a neutral undertone and has a little bit of pink shift to it so i have put can you even on the petal place lip liner side as you guys can see the but the lip liner would be a little bit darker with this lipstick but it doesn't look that bad because a darker lip liner would go with every single color so this is how can you even looks which is the right side of my upper lip again this is a very nice formula very smooth and glides on very nicely lastly i'm gonna show you this lipstick this is the color pop ultra blotted lip and it has got three grams which is 0 0.10 ounces and this is a pink packaging from outside as you guys can see this is in the shade tattle tail so this is how it looks from inside 
sorry this is a pink lipstick as you guys can see which has got a little bit of warm undertone to it so i thought of buying something like this because i really haven't got a color like this in my collection i always buy colors just like this uh, which is like very warm toned nude color or a little bit darker brown colors i haven't got something like this like a pink kind of a nude color so i thought of buying this one so this one also has got a doe food applicator but it's a bit longer than the other ones because this is a from a different range so i'm gonna swatch it and show you how it looks this is more of a pink color kind of like also a morph color but has got more of a pink to it looks more of like a hot pink on the camera but in person it looks more so of like a normal dark pink color so i wanted to buy something like this because i haven't got something like this also this one is super pigmented as you guys can see it has got nice payoff and it is very smooth and does not look streaky so let's apply it on the lips and see how it looks so this is the shade tattle tail and it as you can see it is more pink than other colors this is more of like a warm toned brown and this is more of like a neutral toned brown but this one has got that pink shift as you guys can see but it kind of looks like nude on my skin color although it looks kind of like a more hot pink on the hands but does not look like that on the lips looks more of like a pink toned nude color on the lips so i'm kind of happy with what i bought i thought it would look kind of odd on my skin but it doesn't look that bad so it would be better if i wear this lipstick with a little bit of a dark lip liner which i think it's gonna be the petal please so i think petal please is going to be a very universal lip liner for all the lipsticks another thing is that this is more matte than the other two of my upper lips as you guys can see this is this has got more of a matte finish and this too does not have that much of like a matte finish to it but this is more of a matte than the other but this one is not cracky as you guys can see it glided on very smoothly and also looks very smooth on the skin so i think i am loving three of the lipsticks so just before like ending this video i wanted to show you one thing as i've said that i was super happy with the ultra blotted lipstick uh, which is in the shade tattle tail which is the in the lower lip but i see like after like some time like almost like at five, 10 to 15 minutes it has cracked as you guys can see it is cracked and since i uh, pressed bo uh, both of my lips so it also transferred there and the this thing also like start has started to break apart so i think the ultra blotted lip is not that great because it kind of breaks down as you guys can see so maybe out of three of them the formula of the ultra blotted lip is not that great but yeah the color looks nice another thing i wanted to show you before i end this video is uh i have been wearing this foundation for almost uh four hours now because in the middle the eyeshadows broke so i had to press them that took time i also took my dinner because it's night over here now so i spent more like more than four hours i would say now because the haul is also huge so it took some time to go through this video and uh, this is how my foundation and concealer is looking at this point of time as you guys can see it has uh, hold it quite well like as you can see but i have a little bit of cracks going on in my smile lines and uh, there's a little bit of creasing and settling underneath my eyes which i expect to happen because it happens with most of my foundations and it is since a little bit on the, the glowier side so it 
should kind of happen but my skin looks very fresh healthy and very glowy which is a really good thing but yeah a little bit of oil has come through my nose as you guys can see but i think a little bit of blotting and a little bit of uh, fixing would help it to fix it so i think the foundation has held pretty well and also it is very hot out here it is 34 degrees out here so it's hard to hard for a foundation to held up this long but uh, it looks quite nice so i think i'm quite happy with the foundation now i'm gonna rate all of the products and talk about the pros and cons so firstly i'm gonna talk about the most favorite product from out of all the products that i have showed you in my haul and that winner is ta -da, this one the brush set surely because all of the brushes from this brush set were like so good they performed so well they were so soft and amazing literally amazing so i'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10 because they performed really well and the collection is also very nice like it has got brushes of different sizes and brushes brushes for different purpose so this is a really helpful one also this one is um, very affordable this one was 32 dollars which is not very costly in a budget so i'm really loving this one okay so the next favorite product of mine is going to be this one which is the foundation so i'm also rating it a 10 out of 10 this one blended out so well on my skin and i have loved the glowiness freshness of this foundation and it is very high rating does not crack over all over your face does not accentuate any sort of texture on your face so this is a pretty damn good foundation next i'm gonna talk about this guy this is the highlighter which is the flexitarian highlighter i really liked the blindingness of it like see how blinding it is and it looks just like a skin does not exaggerate any texture or any sort of issues on your face so this is a really good amazing product and you can also wear it in your bare face so i really liked it since the glow was super real like looks so good on the skin and so flawless so i'm gonna rate it 9.5 just because of the color because it, it is a little bit light that's the reason but other than that i'm loving it so next thing i'm gonna talk about the concealer so the concealer was also one of the amazing products uh, that i found in this haul the color was a little bit light for me but um, it does not look that bad because my foundation was a little bit darker but the formula was amazing it glided on super nicely looked super flawless and smooth underneath the eyes also covered up quite well it almost covered up my deep dark circles so i'm gonna rate this a 9.5 i really uh, loved this guy but uh after like four hour mark it kind of creased uh, underneath my eyes which happens with most of my concealers but if you use powder and uh, use some use a little bit of uh, sponge and fix it then it is not that intense so that's the reason i rated it 9.5 but other than that it is really amazing next i'm gonna talk about this one this is the white eyeliner in the shade graceland so this was also very amazing since this is very pigmented as you guys can see it looks super pigmented and i'm gonna rate it a 9 out of 10. next i'm gonna talk about the lip liners and i really liked three of the lip liners this looked really nice on my skin tone and glided super well did not bleed at all and were very creamy and i also really liked the colors so i'm gonna rate them a 9 out of 10 as well next i'm gonna talk about this guy this is the yellow cream gel liner which is this one this is also very intense and very creamy so 
I really liked the eyeliner and also the color is super nice, very different from the regular yellow color and it is looking very nice on the eyes as well. I can create a lot of looks with this guy. So I'm also gonna rate this guy a 9 out of 10. Next I'm gonna talk about this guy, that super shock cheek blush in the shade Growth Flirt. I really liked this guy because of its formula. It looks very natural on the skin but you have to apply it with the sponge or finger because it goes better with fingers I think rather than brush. So um, I really liked this guy because this one looks very seamless, very natural, a blush from within look and you can also wear it in your bare face so this is a really amazing formula that's why i'm gonna rate this a nine as well next i'm gonna talk about the another blush which is this one i really liked the color of this blush but the only problem is the dustiness of it which i did not like at all but i really adored the color because it looked very nice on my skin tone so i'm gonna give this guy a 8.5 Next, I'm gonna talk about this one, the lipsticks, which is the Luxe Velvet Lipstick. These guys were also nice. They glided super well. They did not look cracky or weird on the lips and I felt comfortable. They're very creamy as well and the colors are also good. So I'm gonna rate them a 8.5 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna talk about this powder. This is the no filter finishing pressed powder and this guy was really good when I applied it looked very smooth it gave me a good blurring effect to the whole face it also helped to set down the foundation and the concealer so it was a really good powder but after the 4 hour mark it could not hold up the shine or the oiliness i would say so that's the reason i'm gonna give this guy an 8 out of 10. next i'm gonna talk about this guy this is the color sticks from color pop in the shade sunday morning but i'm a little bit disappointed with this shade because i really liked the shade and i really wanted to get this but the problem is not with the shade the color does not show up as you guys can see this color is not showing up and also it is very chalky and streaky the formula is not very creamy like expected when i swatched in my hands it looked good but when i tried to apply in my eyes what happened is it became very chalky did not want it to blend did not want it to give any pigment main thing is it did not show up anything on my eyes so i'm very disappointed with this one that's why i'm gonna give this guy a 5 out of 10. next i'm gonna talk about this lipstick which is the ultra blotted lip uh, this guy looked good at first in my hands when i swatched and the color also looked good on my lip but the issue with this one is that this one cracked in my lips after a while like five minutes or so and looked very bad on the lips like very cracky and uh, flaky which i don't like that's the reason i am kind of disappointed with this product so i think i'm gonna give this a 5 out of 10 as well next i'm gonna talk about talk about the eyeshadow palettes this too i have got mixed feelings uh, about this too because i am really disappointed with the packaging it just fell one time from my hand and all of the shadows have become just powder and two of the shadows fell and uh, from the other palette got scraped by my nail these are very fragile the packaging is very bad and very badly pressed because they're very loosely pressed so that even if you turn them like upside down they're gonna fall on the floor this is like really bad packaging so for packaging i'm gonna give them a zero out of ten but for the color scheme i'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10 because they looked super pretty for the reason i bought them there are so amazing colors that i just got attracted and i bought them so i'm gonna give them 10 for the color scheme and a zero on the packaging and for the formula it blended out quite nicely did not look very streaky or patchy at all and it was quite smooth and pigmented but one problem with them was they are very dusty just like the palatial blush which i don't 
like at all so in terms of formula i'm gonna give them a 7 out of 10 so all over i'm rating them uh 5 out of 10. So there you have it guys, this was my Colourpop haul and I tested out the products for you guys and I hope that this video was helpful for you guys and if you found this video helpful then thumbs it up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated every time I upload a new video and today's featured comment is this one, congratulations to you. And to get a shout out in my next video, all you need to do is just comment down below. So comment down below which one was your favorite item from all of the items that I have showed you in my video. And I will pick one of you and feature you in my next video. And that's all for today. I will see you in my next video. Bye!